This name uses Spanish naming customs the first or paternal family name is Freguas and the second or maternal family name is de Pablo. Antonio Freguas de Pablo, better known as Forges was born on the 17th of January 1942 and died on the 22nd of February 2018. He was a Spanish graphic humorist. His artistic name is based on the translation to Catalan of the word Freguas. Born in Madrid, was the son of a Catalan mother and Galician further the writer and journalist Antonio Freguas Saavedra, was baptized with the name Rafael Antonio Benito Freguas de Pablo, and spent his childhood in a large family in which he is the second of nine brothers. He was a bad student, but a great reader of Rich McCrompton and his books on William Brown. He studied in Madrid High School at the Cervantes Institute in Telecommunications Engineering which he did not finish and social sciences. In 1956, at age 14, he began working as a telescene technician at Television Espanola and as an image mixer since 1962. He left the TVE staff as a study coordinator in 1973 to dedicate himself professionally to graphic humor. He had published his first drawing in 1964 in the newspaper Pueblo, by the hand of Jesus Hermida and then went on to Informationes. Jesus de la Serna entrusted him with the editorial joke. He did military service as an artillery fighter, and married Pila Garrido Sendoya and had three daughters and a son. In 1970 he began to collaborate in Dies Minutos and worked in the humor magazines Hermano Lobo, Poor Favor and El Juives and in the weekly Sabado Grafico, interview, lecturers, etc. Since 1982 he published the editorial joke in Diario 16 and later in El Mundo, but he left this newspaper after having been one of its seven founders, and in 1995 he went on to sign El Pais's editorial joke. In 1992 his novel Des de Babylonie appears. Forges reveals himself as a fairly solid and orderly novelist, although perhaps he is guilty of excessive dependence on graphic humor in the hooligan approach to his humorous features. Set in an imaginary Babylon, it narrates the vicissitudes of a group of sages, the Twelve Academicos, who are persecuted by the high priest of the city, Akram, for the hatred that this subject has to any technical, cultural or scientific advance. The protection that King Nebuchadnezzar gives them is not enough to free them from persecution. Ideologically very simple in its approaches, it incurs voluntarily in anachronisms in order to present history as an eternal struggle between hate and love, terror and humor. He died on February 22, 2018 at 76 years of age in Madrid, a victim of pancreatic cancer.